Hey guys, welcome to Eva Dacious Loves, where we talk about the things me, Ebony, loves. And among those things are fragrances. If that's something you'd be into, ooh, I don't know what's going on outside. <laughs> I might have to wait. Okay, so I think I can come back to this video. <laughs> the word road work has paused for the day. And so as you, you can see from the title, we are going to be talking about some fragrances I've recently hauled. Um, now, I'm already starting, guys. I mean, my birthday's in is at the end of October. And I'm probably already like doing a little bit more <laughs> buying than I should be buying. But I'm gonna, for October, I'm gonna just carry my birthdays at the end of the month. So I'm gonna just collect everything and open them. I'm gonna really try not to open anything until the end of the month and open them up for my birthday. But this is the last little haul for September. And I kinda had a did good, good this month. Um, so one fragrance, Where's that? Yes. One I showed you, I I actually had this in my Walmart. Well, it was my affordable body care haul. And it was Sabrina Carpenter's um, Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream. I've had a chance to use this and wear it. Um, what I will say is I prefer the original Sweet Tooth to this version um for me i have a hard time this gives it's a little um headache inducing for me after my first time using it once i use it the first time i'm fine and it smells good but then when i have to retouch during the during the day it got to be too much for me but it smells it really is a caramel dream it really does it still has that kind of like airiness that Sweet Tooth has that I really like. Um, but the caramel, the caramel is there. And I'm like, maybe I'm weird about caramel. Like maybe I don't really like caramel <laughs> and my stuff. I don't know. But um, yeah, it, it gives me a little, it's a little too sweet for me. And I, I'm usually good with anything sweet, but this is almost pushing it for me a little too sweet. But that, but at, you know, yeah, I even, so <clears throat> I'm thinking, I was going to think about what can I mix this with so that I'm just putting a little bit of this on and then layering it with something else. I'm thinking of trying to trying to put this with my work from home from Memoir Archives because that's soft. I'm thinking that might be a good mix with this. Maybe my Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 61. I think 72, this would be almost push 70 72 probably would smell good with this because that's like cake but it might be too much it might uh, might ever do it so i'm still going to test this out in terms of longevity like i said i did have to retouch it around three hours i have to touch it back up again um but it does project some i didn't get any compliments i did wear this to work one day I didn't get any compliments, and that was a day of, like I was spraying it, retouching. So, not that that means anything, but I didn't just let you know. Okay, so then Armani had one of their sales where it was like you buy one, and they were giving you like a free thirty mil bottle. So I wanted to get a new updated C Intense because you guys know I'm kind of getting, I'm halfway through that bottle of mine from last year where they didn't have any. They only had like travel sizes of it. So I wound up getting my other, I've been wanting um, uh, My Way, had, you know, a few different My Way flankers. I wound up getting the Parfum instead of the Intense. I smelled the Intense before and I liked the Intense, but I was like, let me just get this Parfum. So I actually just got basically a 30 mil of it or no i got like a one one ounce of it yeah and um i like this as you can see i kind of have a significant dent in it already as you can see i have a little bit of a dent in it i um i like this a lot it's very much my way a little bit stronger i don't even I, I really just feel like it's a more intense my way. 
I feel like, I guess they added a, um, a note to this. I can't really, I still just really get the smell of the tuberose. To me, it's still very strong. I really like this. I took it to work. I wore it. I re I re-upped on it, but I didn't need to. I was like four hours into the day. I could still smell it, but I love this open so much that I wanted to smell it again. Yeah, there's something in there, like a citrus, maybe bergamot. There's something citrus at the top. And I just love how bright it is. And I just wanted it again. So I, I sprayed this twice during the day. I didn't need to. I just wanted to smell the opening again. So I really like this. Uh, yes, I really like it. I, I'm an Armani fan, though. I know a lot of people, some people aren't, but I'm a huge Armani perfume fan. I haven't had one that I haven't absolutely loved. Well, I shouldn't say that because this other one, I'm not so sure I love it. <laughs> so I so I got that, and then I picked as my free one, something that's been on my list for a long time, is the Ocean de Joya. Now, I know we're getting to the end of the season where it's really not something I'm going to really be wearing because I really feel like this is a, the season is spring for for me this is a spring summer scent now what I will say about this is I have Aqua Di Gioia which is one of my favorites and I have Air Di Gioia I don't know what I was expecting when I saw when I heard Ocean Di Gioia I was really just expecting um I was expecting, I was expecting a little bit more ocean. I don't know, like there's saltiness in there. There's aquatic, there is an aquatic note. But it's, I don't know, I just feel like, I feel like it's a good clean scent, but I just feel like it's not enough of what I thought I was going to get when I heard, when I saw the term Ocean Di Gioia. Because, like, it's nice. It's, there's a nice, sweet aquaticness to it. But when I think of, like, my Air de Joya, I love that scent. It smells to me, You some people say it smells like ocean, but for me it smells more like, like spring rain. It smells like rain water. The saltiness of rain water. Not so much the saltiness of the ocean. I thought these were going to be close. It's not close to that at all. I feel like the air is clearly still that. This is different. But I feel like if you have Aqua Di Gioia, I don't feel like this goes far enough to being different. That's what it is. Like I think this is nice, but I don't think it's so far off from Air Di Gioia that I felt like I needed it, if that makes sense. I like it. I like it. And that kind of reminds me too of Dylan Turquoise from Versace. Although Dylan Turquoise, I feel like they have a little sweeter note in there. I think it makes her guava or something there. There's some fruit and there's the fruit in here as hell. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. I, I will use it up. I won't give it away. I like it. I want to be clear on that. But I just feel like, well, now that I needed it. <laughs> I don't know that I needed it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> um, the other thing that was nice, they gave me all these. The other thing that was nice about the um, Armani is they gave me this cute little bag. I didn't know came with it. I don't even remember seeing it, but they gave me this cute bag. It's all natural materials. I think it's so cute. Like, that's a really cute bag. <laughs> and it's all recyclable materials came in this pouch. I thought, yeah, I like that. And then they also gave me four samples. So I got C. Passione. And these are both C. Passione. They're both the same. Are they? Yeah, they're both the same. And then, which I, I need to try this. I don't know. I haven't really been loving C. Passione. I don't really like it. I don't dislike it. I just don't love it. Um, C, which I want to try because I want to try the original C and see what I think of it because I know people love this. And so I was like, let me, I'm going to give that a try. 
And then this is Aqua de Gel for men. I'm gonna give this to my son and have him try and see if he likes it. Cause they always have them on sale and I'm gonna get it for him. Um, I also picked up another one that's been on my list for a long time. Roses Vanille from Mansara. I wore this yesterday. I went to the game, Penguins game. Um, comes in this pouch. I love that. I'm gonna keep mine in the pouch. It'll keep it like, you know, from getting sunlight and stuff. Um, this is what it looks like. You've seen it. Mine's just kind of dark. This is an older, I feel like mine, this is a good macerated bottle. Cause I think, I don't know if the new ones, the lid's not a twist on. I think the lid might be a magnetic. So this smells so good. Now I will say I didn't know it it's different than what I expected. It kind of reminds me, and I know the notes aren't the same, but it reminded me, it got me in the feeling that my C intense gets me into. There's like a booziness to this one that I get. But I think mine's like I said, it's been said it. Mine is good and good and and strong, guys. I mean, I don't smell the rose as much as I thought I would. Um, and I know, like I said, I know they have different notes, but this really reminds me a lot of my sand, of sand tones. Or maybe like the Kayali Amber, but not the cherry, of course. I love that scent. I know a lot of people don't like that one, but that's one of the few Kaleys that I kind of think I want a big bottle of. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Mansara Roses Vinyl. I I do like it. I, like I said, I wore it yesterday <clears throat> and it's, I could smell it on me and I love that. And I have the kind of skin, I don't know what it is about my skin, but it, it just eats up fragrances. They don't really hang all around with me. But this hung around on me and I really loved it. And the last thing that I picked up was Burberry Goddess. I I still need to get Alien Goddess because I love that intense version. But I saw this and I was like, I'm going to try this. I'm going to get it. I just went and got the, the um, 100 ml bottle just because... I haven't smelled a Burberry scent that I don't like. I'm really a big, huge Burberry fragrance fan. And people were talking about how good, I mean, it's vanilla. Like, what was going to go wrong, right? <laughs> I mean, it's a vanilla, vanilla heavy scent by a brand, by a designer that I love all their fragrances. And I, it's worth taking a chance. And I do really, really like this. Now, I will say... I think this might need to macerate. And I do understand that now. Like when people used to say that, part of me would be like, why send it to me if it ain't ready? I do still kind of feel that way. I kind of feel like brands should only be sending me stuff when it's ready. The idea that I buy something and it's supposed to sit, I'm supposed to let it sit. Like what? <laughs> I bought this to wear now. I bought it in the winter because it's for the winter. I bought it for the fall because it's for the fall. I bought it now. <laughs> but... I have started to notice that some of the scents that I have let let sit have gotten better. And so, while this smells beautiful, when you first when I first put this on, I'm like, hmm. Then it sat and you gotta let the first couple little like a minute, not even long, and then that dry dog comes through. And I think it must be the vanilla. As it's just so good. Now. I do smell the lavender in this, but it's very subtle because I'm not a lavender girl. In fact, lavender is something that I'm sometimes like, ugh. Like sometimes I'll put on my cloud and one time I put it on and I put too much on and I was like, oh my goodness, I can smell the lavender. Like I can pick up lavender. This one, the lavender is very subtle and you really just smell this creamy vanilla. And then... There's cacao in it, I guess, and ginger. Gives a little brightness, but they're all in there really good. And it's really the vanilla just comes through. Now, I will say, I put this on this morning at 9. And around like 
one o'clock, it was definitely a skin scent. I could still smell it if I went like that, but I had to go like this. And every time I've worn this, I do kind of lose it, <laughs> lose the scent. Um, and I've been, as you can see, I've been wearing it. Just so you guys see, I've been wearing it. I have been wearing this, see. And um, I wore it one day, tw actually two times. I mixed it with my Delina exclusive, which you know already has vanilla, but I added this as a base to add another base of vanilla, add more more smoother vanilla to it. That was nice. I also mixed it with my Work From Home from Memoir Archives, which is a coffee, cappuccino, vanilla, biscotti piece, and that was a nice mix. That's a really light, light fragrance. And it needs something. So I put that, I put this with that. Um, I think this would be really good for layering with other scents. I think it's beautiful by itself. But for me, I need a little bit more. So it's beautiful. It really is. It really is beautiful. So I do love wearing this. But I just need a little bit more, a little, little, little bit more. <laughs> so I think again, I think it'll, I think it just needs to set. I think it'll get better as vanilla as it darkens and deepens. And I think, you know, this is pretty new, and I think I just got it pretty new. And I just, I think, I think that has to do with how the longevity and projection of it is because I lose it. I don't, I don't, I lose it. Now I go like this, and I can smell it, and I'm like, oh, it smells so good. And then I was out and I had this mixed with the Lena. Somebody kept saying something smells good, but I didn't know what they were talking about because we were also at a restaurant. <laughs> but they kept saying she was something smells really good. And they said another time, like, something smells really good. And I'm like, is it me? I don't know. <laughs> I also had the Lena on too. And I would think the Lena would ever power. But yeah, I lose the Lena too. Like the Lena, I put her on and like within a couple of them, like within less than an hour, I don't smell it anymore. And I know other people smell it because people tell me, but I'm like, because I love how it smells and it just, it just goes away on me. I did not have that issue with Mancera. Like I said, Coco Vanilla. I mean, this is no, this is Roses Vanilla. <laughs> I do want to get Coco Vanilla, but this is Roses Vanilla and this stayed with me pretty much all day. I love it. So yeah, so this I do I do love how this smells. I love how this smells. I just don't know if it's a love because of everything else I have to deal with. But I'm glad it's in my collection. Um, it's a great vanilla. It's actually one of the prettiest vanillas that I have. So there's that. So guys, that was this haul. Like I said, I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with all the fragrances. Um, well, this one, I'm not sure. I'm still like, I don't know, just because of the headache part. I like how it smells. Yeah, it smells good. It smells so good off the nozzle, but then when I spray it on me, I get like, I get a headache. Mm. Yeah, and this alcohol is strong when they when they first spread. It. It's like good gracious, <laughs> good 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 moogly. Anyway, let me stop. I'm now I'm rambling. Okay, guys. Well, I hope that everybody is doing well. If you're not doing well, please know things will get better. All right, and have a good one. <laughs> Bye.